In this free CAD tutorial, you learn to model this simple part with counterbore holes. Click here to create a new sketch and select the bottom plane to sketch on. Click on the small arrow and select the centered rectangle tool. Start on the origin and drag the mouse. Enter 60 mm and press tab to switch to the other vertical dimension. Enter 40 mm and press enter to apply. All dimensions are defined so you can click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude the rectangular sketch. Change it to 5 mm and check the reversed box to align the top face with the bottom origin plane. Click on OK to apply the extrusion. Create another sketch, which will be independent from the solid object. You see the bottom plane is aligned with the top face of the object. Select the plane to continue. Draw two circles on the horizontal axis. Click right mouse button to exit the circle tool. Click on both center points to select them. Then also select the vertical axis by clicking on it. Now add a symmetrical constraint. Select the dimension tool. Click on both center points and drag the mouse. Click enter a dimension of 40 millimeter and press enter to apply. When using the hole feature, a circle diameter is not that necessary. Click on close to exit the sketch. Now select the hole feature. Select through all for the depth. For the diameter, leave it or enter a 6 mm. Then select a counterbore hole type here. Enter a 10 mm diameter. And for the depth, enter 2 mm. Here you see what that looks like. Click on OK to apply the holes. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Now it's time to create a third sketch. But this one will be on the YZ plane instead of the bottom plane. Select the normal rectangle tool. Start left on the horizontal axis and drag the mouse. Enter 30 mm and press tab to switch to the other dimension. Enter 20 mm and press enter to apply. Click right mouse button to exit the dimension tool. Now click on these two top vertices. And also click on the vertical axis. Then add a symmetrical constraint. Select the circle tool. And draw a circle on the vertical axis. Enter a diameter of 8 mm and press enter to apply. Click right mouse button to exit the circle tool. Select the dimension tool. Click on the center point of the circle and drag the mouse to the right. Click again and enter a dimension of 10 mm. Press enter to apply and click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude this sketch. Check the symmetric to plane box and change it to 5 mm. This is what symmetric to plane looks like. Click on OK to apply the extrusion. Now select these six edges. You're not inside a sketch, so don't forget to hold control while selecting them. Then select the fillet tool. Enter a radius of five millimeter and click on OK to apply. Now let's change the color. Click right mouse button on the body and select appearance. Click on custom appearance and select diffuse color. Select a color and click on okay. 
Now click on close twice. The simple part has been finished. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.